Evacuations and the Fairview fire burning near Hemet. Two people have died in that fire. More than 4,500 acres now and seven structures burn. Let's get to our Michelle Gili. She is live from the fire zone. Michelle. Well, Pat, check out how this scene has changed over the last few hours. There is a lot of thick black smoke behind me here, just beyond this citrus grove. A man watching in his car nearby tells me that this is his neighborhood that we're looking at. His family has already been evacuated. That happened last night. He also says there are a few dozen homes right in the middle of that smoke. New strike teams are rolling into Hemet tonight as flames can be seen on several ridges above East Stetson Road in an area known as Valle Vista and above Batista Road. The evacuation zones are widening in the area, which is scary for people who live nearby and haven't yet been told to leave. I'm just worried because I was here a couple hours ago just to kind of monitor it, but now it's coming down the mountain and this is what's scaring me. So I just. I never would imagine. We see the California fires all the time, but this is really close, so it's a little scary. It's a little scary. Back on the western flank of the fire, Gibble Road is off limits to everyone as evacuations remain in place. This family hopes their home survived. Oh, it was really, really scary and a lot of smoke, and we only took like five minutes, and every the fire was right there in our kills, and that's why we decide to leave. I wanted to stay. But I'm glad I listened to the wife. This time she was right <laughs> for once. Batista Conservation Camp, part of the state's correction system, evacuated inmates as the fire spread to the east. Several airplanes dropped water and retardant on the fire, which is still only 5% contained. We got some couple of good things working for us. Obviously, the fire is burning in the opposite direction of what was burning yesterday, and that was tor towards the community of Hemet. Uh, so uh, the fire is burning now towards uh, the community of Idaho, Idaho, but it has a lot of ground to, to eat up before it gets to Idaho. By early evening, lines of cars came to East Stetson Road to watch aircraft making drops on the flames that marched down the hillside above a neighborhood of about 40 homes. Now, at last count, a total of seven homes have burned, but I've got to tell you, we've been standing here in this area all day, and there is a heck of a lot of action going on right now, so it's unclear whether we may have lost other structures. This is a really interesting shot here, Tim Kimball, right off to the right. It looks like a mini kind of smoke tornado there, a, a tunnel of smoke coming down from the sky, dark smoke. I also need to mention that two people have died in this fire zone. We don't know much about the victims or where this happened specifically, but it was in the midst of this fire. Uh, don't know whether the victims are men or women. The authorities tell us they are investigating this, but we've got fire on several different ridges here. Uh, again, the street in the foreground is East Stetson Road. This is a grove in front of me in the foreground of grapefruit and orange trees. And um, we understand that there's an older neighborhood just beyond these trees. And that's where we've seen so many water drops going on. And if you look off into the distance, there are uh, neighborhoods there on the hillside and you can see the uh, flashing lights of the fire crews there no doubt going in doing structure protection and obviously of course warning people who may not have gotten out that they really need to get out that's the latest live here in Hemet. i'm michelle geely back to you all right thanks michelle let's hope people are listening to those uh fire crews out there and uh, just can't have enough water drops right now well,